Welcome back to the Pioneer Sideline. I am Justin LaBar. This is your home for Pioneer Sports. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, if you're talking Pioneer Sports, you got to be talking Dave Angle. We welcome Dave back in the show. Dave, before we uh, went to break, we talked about your phenomenal numbers. We talked about you leading the team in home runs. We talked about you being amongst the top of the AMC in home runs. I want to find out a little bit more about you, uh, you the man, and then we'll go ahead and talk about the team. Uh, give me your background. Uh, high school ball, I take it? High school, I played third base. We always had a decent catcher, so... I just played third base and I felt comfortable there. And then summer ball, I always played catcher and I always used to pitch. So Pine I had a strong Richland, arm. Right? I, had I went Pine to Richland. Keystone Oaks. Keystone Oaks, okay. And then my senior year, I switched to Pine Richland. Okay. So very good. And uh, what do you, what, uh, you're at Point Park. What are you majoring in? Business management. All right. So yeah. maybe own a franchise someday. Hopefully. Be That'd be nice. Yeah. All right, Dave. Let's talk about what everybody is really relevant to, which is the team. Uh, a very slow start. Uh, Three and thirteen in the conference. That's I'm not even going to really mention the overall record because it doesn't. It's not really relevant. The conference record is what rele what is relevant. How confident uh, or, or you know what, what are your what is your take being three and thirteen? But you guys have some momentum. As Josh and I talked about, you guys the last game you played, you got the win. Pitching's on an upswing. You're 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 you're, you're finding your pitch. Uh, what's the state of the team right now mentally? Mentally, we're just trying to put just go pitch by pitch. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's tough being down that much. You we really need Imagine. to put a big streak together to make the playoffs and. Uh, I don't know, a team more out decent. I mean, we know that we're not winning games and everything, but we're in most of the games. We lose games right after the fifth inning most of the times. Yeah. We won the extras probably five or six times, lost in the extras. And every time that we're hitting, we're not, our pitching's not going. And every time that we're pitching real well, our hitting's not going. So it's uh, we just have to put it all together. And as soon as we find it, we're going to be pretty unbeatable. We have a lot of talented kids on our team. So, what do you think is the strongest point for uh, for the for your team? Do you think it's your power? Do you think it's the pitching? What do you think the strongest point for the team is this year? I'd say that we get out pitched more than we get out hit. Okay. I'd say. Yeah. Now you now you are listed as a catcher and a designated hitter. Now the obvious the obvious answer usually is if I, if I was to ask, most people would say, "Oh, I'd, I'd like to DH because you know you know less less physical wear and, right. and sit back and just worry about uh, hitting." But I've talked to a lot of guys that switch off in positions like that. They actually prefer playing their in the field because they say it keeps them loose, it keeps them engaged in the game, they're not sitting around uh, dead time. What do you prefer, catcher or DH? Or well, uh, my numbers for ca for catching is for hitting wise isn't as good as. Uh, my numbers are for hitting whenever I am a catcher. So I guess I like DA since I'm helping the team a little bit more. Okay. And our other two catchers, Danny Campbell and Brandon Haberjack, they're they're real good. So like. So you kind of think that maybe you know you're a catcher if it absolutely needed to for to give them rest, but you just kind of like to sit at the DH spot. Well, I've been DHing a lot because my I hurt my arm, my bicep tendon. Okay. So it's strained a little bit. So I'm working back at more and more for catcher. So hopefully I should be catching two out of the four games during the weekends and stuff so you're still knocking the ball 300 plus feet yeah right very good all right Dave one more question what do you uh you know your prediction uh you got I mean you still got a lot of games left to be played a lot yeah. of double headers I mean well, how are you feeling we just got to keep winning I don't know uh everybody felt really good after that win got LeBerry's 100th win and it just felt it just feels a lot better than winning so I'm gonna hope that we keep winning and uh get on a streak of some sort get in a nice rhythm so very good. Well, we look forward to many more games with you uh, here on the team. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you very we much. we got to hop out. But